What's up guys, welcome back by this new video. Today, once again, Halloween Cup with an entire new team. This is my team, Swellad, Shift3 and the Azumarill. So we will, we will see how this goes. <laughs> and finally, I made my own Swellad after all those days. So I hope I can encounter a lot of Neo Queens at the front. That should be very good for me. But we are starting against the Shadow Colbat. You know that's fine because I have Ice Beam. That deals super effective damage against the Colbat. Colbat can use freely his uh, Shadow Ball. That's fine. So I love this a very tank. I will just throw the Ice Beam. He shields it. Okay, interesting to see that. I will just keep going on with the next Shadow Ball. He made it to a Poison Fang. Um, I will let this go. And I am able to tank it. That's right. I swear a lot is a fairy tank. And I really like that. So will he throw his second shield right now? Yes, he will. So then I will throw my Azumarill with Ice Beam and play her off. And I knew he would go straight for the Poison Fang. For that super effective damage. That's fine, I will let it go. Ooh, now there is a very problematic Pokemon. A Fortress. Know that that thing has mirror shot, but yeah. Problem is, Shift 3 will get shredded by that thing. And Azumarill cannot do any anything good here. And we'll go for another play rough. This game is very rough, so. Have to switch into shift three, but look at that damage already. I think I have to shield this one. And go for mirror shield, I have to shield that. I'm a bit afraid I have to shield the second one. <laughs> Goes for another mirror shot. Golbat comes back, making it to the fall play. I don't know if this will KO the Shadow Golbat. It will. Okay, so that's fine. But I will not be able to kill that fortress. That's a huge problem. Maybe a Lola Marowak would be a bit better option. But yeah, I this team is with Azumarill, so I will keep Azumarill. <laughs> and not uh, Lola Marowak. <laughs> but we got a nice lead. It went very miserably. But uh, into the next match. We're going swell out into Greninja. I will switch straight into my shift tree. Going straight for the leaf blade. That will hit for a lot. But that's fine. My only plan is here to. I either need to give. Need a queen of farm. My plan is just to generate some energy with Swellot. <laughs> she just made it to the poison thing. I don't think she will throw the earth power. I hope so. <laughs> no, she goes for the earth power. Ooh, that was a bit of a mistake from me. Going just before she can make it to a poison thing to an ice beam. That will KO the new queen. 
Then Greninja comes, going for Azumarill. She has a Golbat in the back. She will throw a lot of Poison Fangs at me. I will throw an Ice Beam on her. She will shield it. Okay, I think I know what my uh, yeah my point to winning winning is. That's to switch into Swellot the right timing. This time I have to shield, and then hopefully I can save maybe a play rough for the Greninja or something like that. Should be, I think, the best option I have here. Bit of lag. Then I will throw the Ice Beam on the Gold Bed. She shields it. Oh, and I will not be able to make it to another attack. So I have to wait. Okay, I think this. Yeah, maybe uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, she goes for night slash. That's fine. And she will even win CMP. So, yeah, I couldn't do much. And she just got me the right spot. Maybe I didn't need it to switch, but yeah, I don't. Hmm. Problem is that. Gold bats are very problematic <laughs> for Azumarill and Shift Tree. But yeah, upping into the third match, Swellot against Wigglytuff, finally getting a decent lead. Go straight for Greninja, then I'm responding with my Shift Tree. But yeah, I, I, I think Shift 3 isn't that good, this league. But I really wanted Shift 3 to just give it a try. He even wins CMP. Ah, oh, I hate it. <laughs> I'm going for the Leaf Blade. I think you will let it go. To be honest. Okay, that's fine. Then Wiggly Tough will come back. I hope Wiggly Tough will not charm me with two in two seconds turn. <laughs> no, it could be. But I can deal the leaf blade damage against the Wiggly Tough, so I'm very happy about that. Leaf blade, very nice hits. Then I'm going for my uh, Swellot, he brings a charge bug out, he probably will let this go, but I have to go for the acid spray here, <gasps> he shields it, no way, I didn't expect it that, uh, I can let, let this go, his defense is built anyway, so I can just let it go, Goes for discharge, that's fine. I will just go for the ice beam. It will hit for a ton. Ooh, that does some nice amount of damage. Um I will shield this one. No, it's the X scissor bait. Nice baiting from the opponent. I will leave with some energy here. Then I can snipe the Charger Buck with my Azumarill down, so that's very nice. And he noticed that he cannot win anymore. And he considers the match. So we're hopping into the fort now. Still goes decently, not the best, like with Barnyard and uh, Charger Buck team, but... It goes okay. <laughs> so into the fourth match against Getty. Going Swellot against 
Warmerton. Ooh, that's that's not good. I know that. <laughs> we'll switch straight into shift three. She's staying in. No, she switched. No, not a Mandy bus. I'm just doing literally nothing against the Mandy bus, even with the leaf blade. They're both not very effective, my attacks. She will just instantly farm me down. Then she still has her warmer than in the back. That Azumarill isn't good as Swellard. <laughs> They're both not good against it, so... I see a bit of a problematic situation there. I think I will just throw my swell out. Or my, I think now, no, I will go for a bubble farm down on the many bus. She can throw a hundred aerial aces, but I can just easily tank that, those without any problem. And I will do that. Another aerial ace. Then she can make it to another aerial ace. Me, I had to throw player of hydro pump set up, but <laughs> she just KOs almost my whole Esmeril down. No way. Toxa packs making it to the player off. Oh, this isn't good for me. Going straight for Swellot. But Swellot will be Megan by the warm and death that I don't like. Okay, Swellot isn't the best one I know this in this Halloween. I will go just for the acid spray. May I think she could possibly shield this one, I think. No, she will not. Ah. Hating always those moments. I will throw the ice beam. This time she will shield, I know that. That's always the thing. <sighs> and I have to shield those attacks. <laughs> but you know, in this case, I know this. I cannot win this anymore. Warmer than it's just too powerful for me. <laughs> and I just concede in the match. So I will hop into the next one. Mm. I'm thinking which Pokemon? No, I swear. I thought Swellot will be a bit better in those leagues than. Other Pokemon like Need a Queen, but that's just wrong. Making it to a CMP tie that I'm losing, but I can tank that discharge, so there's no problem for me. No, just a lunch. Okay, that's fine. Can just go for the Ice Beam. That will hit for, I think, some decent amount of damage. Yes, okay, that's fine. Um, do I need to win switch? Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy to win switch here. <gasps> no way! I have a shredder for him. And that's shift 3. Please do not have ice cream on that thing. Otherwise I will just cry. Oh, he only got surf. That's really nice. I will just throw the fall play. That almost goes to Jellicent, but I think I could better throw the leaf blade. But okay, that's fine. Shadow Ball still will not KO me. And I think I just made it to the back to back leaf blades. So I'll just. <gasps> 
Renal Regas. No way, I have Ezio Marino in the back. Going for the first. Leaf Blade getting shielded. Second one. This one will be shielded too, I know that. Second one. Get shielded. And Renal Regas will get the farm down. They still have to be careful for that Galventula in the back. For now, I will throw just my swear lot. Going just for that ice beam. That will hit for super effective damage. Then switch back into Azumarill and making a nice catch. Think on the sand tomb. Yes, okay, that's fine. Renorigus will not kill me anyway. And in between, I can just make it to an ice beam and winning this match yeah as you could see this time shift 3 was good like against the jellicent but we still didn't saw an uh, umbrian so yeah At the end, I won two times in the first streak. So we do one more streak, and then uh, I will give my opinion, <laughs> like I always do. But I think I made just a fun team to use. But yeah, it's not just that good. Mm. And I'm not. Uh, Shielding that could just stay, but right now we're going swell out against a load of Marowak. I will stay in for now, then switch and catching that bone club on my Azumarill. But I think he has something strange in the back that I don't like. So he got Galarian Slow Pro. He made it. I will let this go. I don't need it. I will leave with one HP. <laughs> Already planned that. And I will just throw into my Ice Beam. That he shields, okay. It's fine. Um. Yeah, now I don't know what I have to do, I think. I will throw in my shift tree. I will win the CMP, really nearly nice. I can go for that fall play here. That gets shielded by that Galarian slow bro. So I will shield this one then. Shielding that sludge bomb, and at this point I can go for a nice over farm. And making it to the fall play, that will hit for a ton of damage against that Alolo Marowak, and for super effective damage. Almost KOing the Alolo Marowak. He will go for the bone club I expect, so I will let this go. Just he hits when not very effective. Will he bring his last Pokemon or something else? Or I mean uh, the Galarian Slowbro. Obstagoon, I have to switch. He goes for Night Slash, that's fine. I think I can just win this easily in this match. I hope he didn't get the boost, but I don't know that. Uh, I'm going just for the acid spray to lower his defense. Then I can just go for a very nice ice beam. But I have to throw the ice beam earlier because that Galarian Slowbro came back. Ice beam. No! It's one free confusion damage from him. This isn't that good.
I think I have to make a catch to win this. We'll just throw the ice beam. Or maybe with shift tree can make a leaf blade still. Come for the ice beam. No, shift tree cannot make it. And then I'm losing a very important match. That I shouldn't lost. I had to just throw straight back to back ice beam, then I won. Oh, this went very wrong. Mmm, hating this, but yeah. Hopping into the second match of the second streak. Anytime. Okay, guys, if you already didn't press that like button and subscribe button, please do that. It will help me a lot. And I can maybe do some other things too. So right now, we're having a warmer demo, so I'm switching into. No. Oh, hating it. <laughs> Straight. I will just go for my leaf blade. Still hits for done. Oh, I can maybe get one shield from him. I hope so. Leaf blade. Get shielded. Yeah, the wrong thing is about... This time people use warmer then. So I cannot do anything. To shoot those mud bombs. But I don't really know which Pokemon is good against a Warmadon. Maybe something like Salazzle. <laughs> that thing is just too glassy. That's more of the problem here. I will make the catch on Azumarill. Azumarill can. Tank this mud bomb very easily. He will switch, or okay, I can not farm him down. Okay, I will let him think that I'm having hydro pump, and then just throwing the ice beam because I don't own hydro pump here. Maybe I should do that, but okay, he shields. That's fine. And I think he will KO me with that moon blast. He... No one HP can still throw a little ice beam on him. Very happy about that. Little chip damage, always nice to have that. And then I have to go for that ice beam. Still, I don't know how I have to get rid of that warmer then. Going for CMP tie with the carving, making it to an ice beam. It's okay, yo, the carving. Then going for the acid spray. Uh. Oh, I cannot even make it to the ice beam. Oh, that I will lose this one. I can gin. Yeah. I just see my team is completely core broken by a warm it. Just an mm. easily simple warm it. <laughs> just core broken by. Oh, no way. So, next match, going swell out against Toxicroak. This one is a bit of the same lead we have here. But I will stay in for now. I will shield this one. 
He goes for mud pump, that's totally fine. I will just throw an ice beam, then do one mud shot and then switch into my Azumarill. Or two. And then making a catch on Azumarill. It's very nice. So then we can keep going into the next one. He has a low uh, shadow Alolan mock. He will throw the acid spray, I know that, so I don't need to shield this. Oh he's really has some spice here. Just going for the player off. This will hit for some nice damage. Or he shields it. Okay, that's fine too. It's time for Swellot once again. I will throw the Ice Beam on him. It will almost KO that thing. I think this is the odd Dark Pulse. Yes. Ooh. It's not good. We'll just throw an acid spray on this thing. Hopefully, it will KO. And then going for Shift Tree. That's in a very problematic situation here. I hope Leaf Blade can KO that thing. Otherwise, I'm dead. <laughs> no. It gives me one free snarl attack. Maybe I still can do this. Oh, he has an Umbrian in the back. Oh. Yeah, I cannot do anything. Umbrian is just too tanky. And you can only, in the Halloween Cup, you can only defeat tankiness with a tank. <laughs> yeah, that's just that simple. <laughs> you need a, a tank to destroy a tank Pokemon. <laughs> or you need something that's very effective against it. Like charge a book against Toxapex and Obstagoon against uh, Umbreon. Oh, we're going for a simultaneous lead. Swellot against Swellot. Really appreciate that. But I will throw the first Ice Beam at him. This will do not as much I expect it that it will do but that's fine he will go for his own ice beam that's fine and i'm making a catch on Azumarill. so that's very nice good ice beam that's fine i know he will throw that acid spray on me this is the acid spray, so I I don't think he has another poison type guy in the back. No, he goes for sludge bomb. Oh. Then I will just throw my ice beam to try to KO this thing. Okay, he lets it go. That's fine. No, he has another poison typer. I have to go for the player off here. So we'll get a shield from the opponent. We'll throw Swellot. You will throw the crunch and we'll shield it. Because otherwise I'm dead. No, getting the defense fell, I don't like that. I will throw the ice beam on him. 
he shields it. He has made it to another attack. Goes for another crunch. I have to just keep going. And making a catch on shift 3. <laughs> okay, I have to say honestly, I'm making a ton of nice catches this video. <laughs> but they are just most of the time useless because my team isn't just that good. That's the huge problem here, but I'm going for the leaf blade. That's some nice hits against the Trapian. Trapian goes for a crunch that will KO me. And in the back, there is a Sable Eye. It still could be interesting to go for the Ice Beam here. No, double ice beam will not be able to KO. And I think acid spray and then the ice beam will not KO the Sable, Sable Eye as well. Uh, I think I need a sh and uh Okay, next time Alolan Ninetales will launch me. Mm. I think, or maybe Shadow Gardevoir. I don't know that yet, but we will see. Right now we have, I think already the last match of this video going against Gaslord. <laughs> really nice. Dive Ice Beam, I'm super effective against her. But the problem is I don't, yeah, I really want my own Gaslord, but I cannot make that <laughs> just yet. So I'm just going for the Ice Beam right now. It hits for super effective damage, I'm trying to catch, but I failed. She will go for the discharge, that's fine. I can tank one of those decks. Then making it to the discharge. Uh, you know, I mean to the player off. <laughs> Still does some nice amount of damage. Um, you know, I can uh, throw a shield here. Because she has to throw a shield then too. So then I don't see any problem by me. She shields it. Okay. And she KOs me, that's fine. I will throw in once again my Swellet and I will just, I think, go for that farm down. I think that's the best option here. Discharge hits for a decent amount of damage. Yeah, this is only the X Scissor. No, this is the. Yes, X Scissor. I can make it to that ice beam, very nice. It's okay, oh, that cast lord. No way. And in the back, there's a go lurk. No way. Finally, shift we can show <laughs> something. But I lost. Instantly KOs, and she knows that's over. And I'm winning this match, last match. So three out of 10, I wouldn't recommend this. No, I uh, will not recommend this. But then I got, uh, got a lot of fun. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Swellout is, I think, not the best one in this. Halloween cup, maybe other cup later on. But it's very tanky that I really like. So maybe Great League someday. I will test it out. But yeah, anyway, like and subscribe, guys, to see more of those videos. And I will see you next time.
Peace out, guys.